our next guest is known as the man who puzzles America. His crosswords and word jumbles appear frequently in magazines and newspapers across the US. And for nearly 20 years, his brain teasers have left millions of people scrambling for their dictionaries. Now, for the first <laughs> time, his games have arrived here in Asia. And with his latest creation, it's called Word Winder. It's debuting in stores here in Singapore this month. Mm -hmm. So to walk us through the mysterious world of puzzle making, let's welcome David Hoyt this morning, puzzle maker and board game enthusiast. Very good morning. Good morning, David. David. Good morning. Thanks for so having me. So you're a puzzling kind of guy. Um, I am. <laughs> How did you end up being that way? Oh, I, I had a job on the floor of the stock exchange in Chicago, and right. I just decided I wanted to give it all up and do something else, and I just decided I wanted to be a game inventor. Were you always uh, you know, someone who loved puzzles, were doing your you know, puzzles every morning? No, but I was somebody who always loved inventing. I mm -hmm. wanted to be an inventor. So okay. the, the games and puzzles have allowed me to do that. So I would be happy inventing anything. The first, what was the first thing you invented? Uh, well, the first game that I invented was called Economic Warfare, and it was horrible. But I had to start somewhere. <laughs> I, had, it, I had to start somewhere. I think the title didn't sound so good. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. So tell us, how do you go about coming up or creating these puzzles? Well, I, I make quite a few different ones, but the one that I'm most famous for in the U.S. is called Jumble. Mm. And uh, it appears in the International Herald Tribune here and in other places. But I kind of let the world help me. Like, I can be in a bar or, or a you know, restaurant or walking down the street, and I can hear someone say something. And I'll be like, ooh, is that a jumble or is that a word roundup? So I'm kind of letting, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the world, and the world is helping me make, make my puzzles. Okay. Just to explain to our viewers, jumble is, is a word game where you unscramble yes. the words, right? Jumble, jumble comes with a cartoon that's drawn by Jeff Kinnerick, and there's a pun or riddle, and um, uh, and there are words that are scrambled, and you take the circle letters out to to, uh, to solve it. And, right. Yeah. right. And, and word games, especially. Uh, I mean, when we play them, it's good fun. But but to be behind thinking how this would go here and go there. I mean. I, I got to admit, that, that is quite mind-boggling. It, it is, and it's caused me to think a completely different way. And, you know, so, uh, you know, I don't look at anything a as what it is. Now I look at a mug, and I'm like, how can that be a puzzle? How can I turn that into something? And it's, it's, really, it's really affected me, and it's, you know, there's, it's good, but I don't know how good. But when so. you're creating these word puzzles, are you aided by technology, or is it truly just... You know, I make almost all my puzzles by hand. Now, obviously, when we enter them in, you know, we use a computer. But right. one of the things that I have said that I would stick with is that I'm doing them by hand. And then I have an assistant who right. takes them. and Because it would be too easy to create a computer program. And then once I started, I wouldn't be able to stop. Because it would be too easy. So right. I do them right. all by hand. So give okay. us some idea how it works. I mean, how much trial and error is involved? How many versions do you go through before you finally get the one that you yeah. want, you know? How do you test it? On a typical you know, game. Like with Jumble, sometimes I will take a simple, like, five-letter word, and I will Will scramble it up and make it hard to to read and sometimes I will change it 20 times because it just doesn't feel right, right. and it's you know it's not as easy you know sometimes I'll I, if, if if I were to show you a puzzle you would say oh you know it's easy right, right? Yeah. a lot of work goes into it and a lot of little subtle things that you would never notice and your sisters, I believe, your parents are involved. Yes, <laughs> my, my, my parents are very involved. In fact, my parents do a lot of the initial editing for all my puzzles. In fact, they probably edit more puzzles than anyone else in the world, and they love it, and I love having them involved. Well, you've run in a new game, is that right? The, something yes. you've just created? So, Word yes. Winder? Word Winder. Yeah. There it is. There. Is, uh, yep. yep, in here, in the box. And you're going to explain to us and how yes. it works. I'm yeah. going to explain yeah. this, and it's, it's, a, it's a very easy thing here. This, well, first of all, these are actually boards that are put together. So there's a trillion different ways that these can be put together. But we've glued this together just to show you. And you play words, like here's the word wise. Here's the word treat. And you take turns. And let's see, here's the word locate. And the objective is to simply create a word winding path of words that connects one side of the board to the opposite side. So it could be left to right or top to bottom. There's no scoring. It's very simple. And there's a lot of strategy. So if, if someone plays a word going this way, other people will come in and block this way. Yes. And it's such a simple concept. Sometimes I wonder, why didn't I invent this 15 years ago or someone <laughs> else invent this? But there's another thing about this that is truly amazing and that is that you could play any child right now at this game head to head uh -huh. it's a family game but here's how you do it 
if, if the child uh, can only spell three and four letter words, just limit yourself to three and four letter words mm. and you could play any age child with this. So right. we tested this in classrooms and the results have been amazing. In fact, the, the news in the United States have come out yeah. and they've done yeah. stories on it and uh, wow. okay. it's incredible. So, so now the thing is, how do you know which letters to put on the board? Ah, uh, that was a lot of work. So, so here you see these boards that look completely right. random, and there's nothing random about this right. at all. This is so we 15... can just lay it out ourselves. Yes, yes, exactly. So you lay them out, and there's a decillion different uh -huh. ways. You know, we say a trillion, but there's truly a decillion different ways that you can do it. And uh, a lot of work went into laying these out, and all I can tell you is it's 15 years worth of word game experience. Wow. If I explained it, we'd have to, you'd have to have me on the show for a day for, for me to <laughs> okay, explain it. Okay. Wow. But I believe this um, game is also available um, digitally, right? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. We have a new Wordwinder app, which is doing extremely well. If you go to the iTunes App Store, it's uh, number three right now. It's behind Words with Friends and a couple others or one other. And uh, it's available here. Um, and it's doing it's doing great. You can. The big advantage is you have a dictionary. Yeah. The dictionary is <laughs> built right in. We yeah. need that, yep, yeah. exactly. So it's doing very well. We're very happy with this. And I guess the the, the compliment would come when someone invents a cheat version. You know. Oh, well, I, I have to tell you that we have a patent attorney who is filing patents as we go on. This. Okay. So okay. If, if somebody does, they'll be get a, a, a phone call from uh, from our attorney. How do you think technology today has really changed the way people play games? I mean. How has it been? A lot. You've been in this for 15 yes. years, so you've seen a change. A ton. It, it really has. It's. Uh you know, I, I know people who have fought this the whole way, people in the game industry who, who, who fought it, who are now getting on board and with the connectivity of, right. of being able to play something now and then send it off in the cyberspace and then play your next turn a day later and two days later. That's a radical change from everybody sitting around. And, you know, a lot of people in the game industry thought, oh, that's horrible that you're not talking to people. Right. But what's happening is, is it's actually bringing new people together. Right. Like they are, they, are, they are meeting as a result of all yeah. this so it's it's greatly affected it and there are you know pluses and minuses to, to, to anything so word games and word puzzles in the sense that's your that's your favorite uh, that sort is of, uh, my area of expertise I love them I'm not a great speller though don't tell anybody <laughs> <laughs> what's a typical day like for you you wake uh, up in the morning and then you know you think about the next puzzle you're gonna make or... you know I uh, I do I get up very early I get up at about 3 30 a.m. every day really? I don't know why I have I have a lot of work for one thing so that's one of the reasons mm -hmm. why but I do them in in groups like I don't just do like one jumble a day and one word roundup a day, I say, okay, for the next six hours, I'm making as many of whatever it is that I'm making. And it, it allows me to really get into a groove. Okay. Doesn't sound like much fun. I, I mean, know, <laughs> I tell you what, you do it with a cup of coffee at four in the morning with two cats sitting on your desk. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, normally we do it to a downtime. You're like, oh, okay, I'll give this a try. But when you, you wake up and you're like, oh. All right, 25 puzzles, let's go. <laughs> you know. It's a lot of work, and I yeah. do, you know, I thankfully, though, I can do it on an airplane. Like, I actually was very productive on the way here. It's, it's uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's nice to be able to do so it from anywhere in the world. So were you inspired in Singapore? What's that? You know, you say you get inspired by mm -hmm. things around you. Yes, actually, yeah. I will have you know that a jumble was created by something I overheard uh, yesterday on the street. And you know what's funny? I can't remember what it is now, but I recorded it into my phone. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I've got one for you that I shared earlier with them. You know, when a whole bunch of Bobbies are saying, you I heard that. I saw that. Oh, that. <laughs> I, I, that was my chance to look <laughs> smart. I should have <laughs> shut up. It, it was so bad, okay. it was kind of good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so David Hoy, he's the man behind numerous puzzles, games, and brain teams featured in newspapers across the U.S. and online as well. Oh, that's right. So it's good fun. I think all of us love a good uh, word yeah. game every now and then.